Hello, this is Professor BRB, and in this video we're going to learn how to add this pretty drop cap uh, to a paragraph uh, with a swash capital. So let's get started. Uh, over here we've got some plain text, and this is what I started with uh, when I did this uh, paragraph. It just looks like this. And uh, if you look at the previous video, I showed how to create a paragraph style for a shaded bullet list. Uh, and that's kind of fun to do. If you're interested, uh, please watch the previous video in this series. But let's do a drop cap here. Uh, it's a paragraph level uh, formatting, so I don't actually have to select anything. I can just put my cursor uh, anywhere in the paragraph and go to my paragraph formatting controls. And my drop cap control is right here. One does nothing. Two does just what I wanted. And of course, I could have done more, gone to three, but I think two is sufficient here. I can also control the number of letters to be dropped. Uh, a is a one uh, letter word, so it just kind of did the space. But you can do that if you wanted to. In this case, I don't. I'm just leaving it at one. And now I want to make swash capital. And the first thing to understand about swash capitals is that they are kind of a rare thing. And most typefaces do not have them. But there are a few that do, and I'll, I'll tell you a few of them. Uh, one is Adobe Caslon Pro, any of the italics in Adobe Caslon Pro. So I'm going to do semi-bold italic here. And that uh, gives me the possibility to do a drop capital. It's not quite there yet. Uh, while I'm at it, I'm going to make this a pretty color. And then look at it. That's not a swash, but it's close. Um, if you, uh, 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 let me just uh, make it into a swash capital first, and then I'll show you how to find whether a particular typeface has swash capitals. Right up here, I can find my open type controls, and all I have to do is choose swash. Bingo, there it is. We have one little problem to solve here, which is this is crashing in. So if I just put my cursor in between those two characters, then I can use my kerning controls. And um, don't select anything, just put your cursor there. And here are my kerning controls. If I just click, click until I'm happy with the way it looks. Done. Done and done. It looks great. But what if I wasn't sure whether a particular typeface has swash capitals? How would I find out? I have to go to your glyphs panel under the type menu. And if you open up your glyphs panel, uh, it's wonders to behold. You will find out that all typefaces are not created equal. For example, Myriad Pro here, we have a sorter that shows us all the different kind of characters. There's no swatch. If we go to Adobe Caslon Pro, however, um, this is the Roman. Uh, still, look up and down, no swatch. Although we do have some pretty things in here. For example, a lovely set of ornaments. Uh, and they're in these open type pro fonts. There are so many characters and so many specialty characters. It just goes on and on that Adobe has given us a handy little sorter here. So we can kind of see, oh, do you want to see what Greek symbols are there? Just one, pi. Uh, we can see our ornaments, uh, so forth and so on. Uh, if we want swash, we have to go from the regular to one of the italics. The ornaments are the same. If I go to the entire font, you can see I have many, many characters here, including swash capitals. So if I go down, I now find swash in my list of features in the sorter. And here are my swash capitals. So I can see now that Adobe Caslon Pro has a lovely set of swash capitals.
Minion Pro also has a very, very pretty set of swash capitals. And I think possibly Warnock Pro. I'm not actually sure. So let's find out together as the saying goes. Here's Warnock Pro. And here we are in italic. And yes, they all, a Warnock Pro also has a very pretty set of swash capitals right there. So uh, have some fun. Go into the Glyphs palette, explore, and find out where you can make your typography elegant with swash drop capitals.